run great weekly team meetings and staff will want to attend. The team meetings will be useful for everyone and holding the weekly team meetings will actually improve team performance over time compared to not holding them. Most weekly team meetings are a long way from this, with board attendees you know, feeling like their time is being wasted and wishing they could get back to their work. Great weekly team meetings are essential for communicating priorities, focusing the team's efforts in the most important areas for that week and month, and for creating ownership and accountability throughout the team. Great weekly team meetings connect the team members together, coordinate staff efforts, build teamwork, and direct help and support where it is most needed. So you know exactly how to run staff meetings effectively, we are going through. Firstly, five key reasons why you should hold weekly team meetings, which are super important for communication and aligning everyone's efforts. Secondly, three simple rules for making weekly staff meetings effective. These rules are great to use in any meetings you hold. And third, we're going to go through four essential agenda items for each weekly team meeting to get team members focused on delivering results and helping each other to deliver those results. The best weekly team meetings are those where everyone is involved, contributing and discussing. Avoid meetings where the leader is the only person who is really speaking, where what is shared is stale information most already know and where staff learn little or nothing. I explain exactly how to use four essential agenda items to avoid all these common team meeting problems. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to build higher performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as the video timestamp so do take a look at these. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Great meetings have a clear purpose. Everyone attending the meeting knows why they are attending and what is expected from them during the meeting. Here are five core reasons you should hold weekly team meetings. Firstly, to increase communication and knowledge throughout the team. Secondly, to align and coordinate everyone's efforts to maximise the results you get from your team. Third, so everyone on the team is focused on achieving results rather than doing activity. Fourth, to increase the support given to team members so the team achieves more. And fifth, lastly, to increase teamwork. Each of these is super important for improving team performance. I've turned around the performance of multiple teams and won prizes for best team at company and national level with different teams. I use weekly team meetings as a core foundation for communicating and focusing the efforts of the team. I look to create action and commitment from to meet team members as a result of the meeting, not just to increase their knowledge of what is happening. Here are three simple rules for making weekly staff meetings as effective as possible. I have found these to be great guidelines for pretty much any meeting and suggest you implement immediately if you are not already using them. Firstly, ask everyone who attends the meeting to participate. The best way to achieve this is to assign a different task or responsibility to each attendee, each of which contributes to the group's goals, and then ask for updates on progress and next steps. If they're not able to contribute, they don't need to be in the meeting. Second, keep the meeting to under an hour and aim for 30 minutes or less. This is absolutely possible, just keep everyone focused on the essentials. And third, everyone should leave the meeting with at least one action. Each action should be aligned and in support of achieving team goals. Weekly team meetings should help achieve results. If they are not, change how you use your weekly team meetings. The first agenda item for weekly team meetings should be sharing results achieved. Give every person in your team a numerical goal to achieve that captures the most important output from their day job. Always ensure individual goals support and help the team overall achieve its goals, i.e. there is good goal alignment. Sharing weekly results are much better than sharing activities undertaken because results usually encompass the activities needed to achieve them. Get each team member to report progress by putting their results onto a whiteboard or into a KPI table which everyone can see. 
By creating visibility, you are encouraging accountability and ownership. Using graphs or tables with several weeks of information makes the trend of results clear. Make sure everyone can see the results achieved throughout the meeting. By openly sharing everyone's progress towards targets, you are setting expectations between peers. You know, nobody wants to be at the bottom or have falling performance. Most people would hate to let colleagues down. By openly and regularly sharing individual performance, you can get improved performance throughout the team. Go a step further and foster some healthy competition and gamify reporting progress within the team. Lastly, share the overall team results and progress towards key goals and the company's performance at least on a monthly basis. Context helps individuals make better, more aligned decisions on a daily and weekly basis, which in turn further increases team performance. The second agenda item for weekly team meetings is creating focus on the top action items and goals for the week. There are two parts to this agenda item. The first part is setting goals for the team to specifically focus on and deliver in the next week. Create one to three weekly team goals so that everyone will contribute to at least one of them. You should then link the weekly team meeting goals into the longer term team goals and direction. You know, explain why hitting the weekly team goals will help achieve the monthly or quarterly team goals. Firstly, linking keeps consistency in the weekly goals so they don't jump all over the place. And consistency means that the team will deliver more in the same time frame compared to inconsistent goals. Secondly, linking reaffirms why the weekly team meeting goals are important in achieving longer term goals. Everybody wants to feel what they are doing is valuable and important. The second part of this agenda item is to ask each team member to tell the rest of the team what actions they're going to take and what results they're going to deliver to help achieve team goals before the next weekly team meeting. Capture the goals for each person on the whiteboard or write down and circulate. This works best when you tell the team members in advance what the weekly team goals are. Ask other team members to challenge weak or easy to achieve individual goals. This encourages the team members to hold each other to account. Every team member should leave the meeting with one to three key goals that they must deliver before the next weekly team meeting. The third agenda item for weekly team meetings is sharing the key challenges being faced. As a leader, emphasize that achieving weekly team goals are what counts and everyone is expected to help wherever they can, so the team wins overall. Ask who would like your help during the week to achieve their individual goals. Encourage team members to ask colleagues for help to overcome their specific challenges. Helping individual team members means helping to achieve team goals quicker, which helps everyone. During the week, provide the help you have offered and make sure team members offering help have provided theirs too. Keep the emphasis on getting help to team members to reach team goals quicker. Don't use the weekly team meeting to solve problems. Organize a separate meeting with the right staff to solve that specific problem. Do use weekly team meetings to organize help for any team member requesting help. To encourage others to ask for help, be the first to ask for help yourself. Make asking for and offering help an expected and essential part of teamwork, rather than a sign of weakness. The fourth agenda item for weekly team meetings is to celebrate wins and successes. To end the meeting on a very positive note, ask team members to spend a few minutes sharing, firstly the successes achieved since the last meeting, secondly thank yous for help provided by colleagues, and thirdly praise for good actions, decisions, behaviours and results. Praising others and celebrating successes is a great way to finish the meeting. Encourage praise within the team and highlight the successes achieved as a team and by individuals in the team. So in summary, weekly team meetings should be quick, straight to the point and help the team improve their overall performance by increasing coordination, communication, support and teamwork. Implement the three simple rules for weekly team meetings being Firstly, everyone contributes. Secondly, keep the meeting quick. Third, everyone leaves with at least one action. Then use four straightforward agenda items to increase accountability, visibility and ownership across your team. The agenda items are, firstly, share results achieved. 
Secondly, set team and individual goals for the week. Third, share challenges and organize help. And fourth, celebrate wins and successes. If you have any questions on run great weekly team meetings, how to run staff meetings effectively, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to take a look at the free resources in the description to help you run better weekly team meetings. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.